Star Wars has introduced a truly wild range of weird and wonderful creatures, especially in the most recent chapter of the Star Wars mythos, the Mandalorian, with the series showcasing some of the fiercest creatures in the galaxy. Season 3 in particular opens with a pretty ferocious creature in its own right, one that even the Mandalorians struggle to face, a leviathan resembling a cross between a crocodile and a turtle with massive jaws and a giant shell on its back. However, a croc with a shell on its back might not be as fictitious as it seems. In fact, 68 million years ago, there just might have been one. One that was just as weird as any Star Wars creature. Meet Armadillo Sucus, the Armadillo Crocodile. Armadillo Sucus was a prehistoric croc from what is now South America having once called Brazil home 72 to 68 million years ago. While it may be a croc, Armadillo Sucus was unlike any croc or gator around today. In fact, it wasn't closely related to either. Armadillo Sucus belonged to a separate branch of the croc family tree, hailing from a suborder known as the Notosuchians a group of terrestrial crocodilomorphs that were widespread across the globe throughout the Cretaceous period. And Armadillosuchus, like its Notosuchian kin, differed greatly from the modern crocs around today. Coming in all sorts of shapes, sizes, diets, and niches, Notosuchians were incredibly diverse during the age of the dinosaurs, often bearing adaptations specialized for terrestrial lifestyles, with long, powerful legs, slender bodies, and heterodont teeth. Some Notosuchians even had mammal-like teeth. Not exactly your usual water-dwelling croc. Funny enough, the ancestors of crocodilians and their relatives were actually land animals, descending from land-dwelling Pseudosuchians that first emerged during the Triassic period, before diversifying into a multitude of groups throughout the Jurassic and Cretaceous with the Notosuchians highlighting that diversity on land in particular. Armadillosuchus takes this adaptation to land living life to its own extreme, with Armadillosuchus potentially having been a fossorial animal. A fossorial animal is an animal that is adapted, if not outright specialized for a life in the dirt, often spending most of their time digging and burrowing through the ground for resources, such as food, shelter, etc. Like other fossorial animals, Armadillosuchus had strong, elongated forelimbs, attached to large shoulder girdles, which would have allowed Armadillosuchus to dig through the dirt and soil with relative ease as it sifted through the ground for any morsel to snack on, utilizing a specialized pair of jaws that were able to grind together in a sort of chewing motion, something most crocs can't do. However, it's this snacking in particular that provides the key evidence to this croc's lifestyle. The tooth wear of at least one Armadillosuchus specimen lends to this idea of its life as a dirt-dwelling animal, with said wear in the teeth correlating with animals that feed on roots, pines, arthropods, and, oddly enough, mollusks. It may be that Armadillosuchus once patrolled these riverbanks and using its specialized teeth and jaws, foraged for mollusks and other tough-shelled animals beneath the sand and mud. Interestingly enough, Armadillosuchus was only one of over a dozen types of Notosuchians native to the Adamantina Formation, living alongside many of its cousins in this very same locality, from the giant predatory Barosuchus to the diminutive dog-like Montialosuchus, truly a haven for some of the most diverse varieties of crocs to ever walk this earth, literally. Armadillosuchus itself was a unique creature in its own right, being fairly distinctive from other Notosuchians with its own specialized adaptations. One particular aspect that sets Armadillosuchus apart from modern crocs and its kin alike were the arrangements of its armor. The name Armadillosuchus comes from the banded sets of armor on its back, which bear an eerie resemblance to those of actual armadillos. In fact, Armadillosuchus means armadillo crocodile. 
This armor was composed of bony dermal plates called osteoderms, which blanketed the animal's back like chainmail, with the armor fusing behind the neck and extending down the animal's back and across its body, making it one of, if not the most armored Nodosuchian known from the fossil record. If that wasn't enough, the osteoderms were interwoven with fibers of collagen, a set of connective tissue that anchor the armor to the skin. The arrangement of this armor has been subject to debate. Originally, Armadillosuchus was reconstructed with a large banded shell on its back, pretty much going for the straightforward option of crocodile with an armadillo-like shell. However, a study in 2022 presented the structure of the preserved collagen in its armor, with the osteoderms woven into the skin rather than being a shell, with the structures being more consistent with other Pseudosuchians, including modern crocodilians, who possess their own structures of collagen in their own armor. As such, the outer appearance of Armadillo Suchus has taken on a far more streamlined appearance, ironically more in line with crocodiles than those of its mammalian namesake. While Armadillo Suchus might not have been the mightiest croc on the block, it was nevertheless one of the most outstanding. That even in one of the most diverse families of crocodilomorphs, it was truly one of a kind. To put it simply, Armadillo Suchus was more than just its armor. It was a whole lot of impressive crocodile. <laughs>